Don't worry, your journey does not end tonight because you will get to come back at the end of all of this and help send me to prison. Okay? And the person that will stay on as my top advisor is... Derek! Congratulations, Jared. And Steve, I'm sorry, but it's a goodbye. Take him back to hell. <laughs> In an interview, President Trump explained that his stance on North Korea changed after meeting with China's president, saying, after listening for 10 minutes, I realized it's not so easy. Which part, the North Korea part or the listening for 10 minutes part? <laughs> also, nothing says I wasn't really listening more than saying, I listened for 10 minutes. <laughs> You're never gonna hear, I listened for 10 minutes and now I know karate. <laughs> you can't just half listen and politely nod to the president of China like he's asking you to check out his new mixtape. <laughs> Dr. Ben Carson toured a housing complex this week and got stuck in an elevator where he spent 45 minutes trying to dial 911 on the floor buttons. <laughs> Dr. Carson said it was almost as embarrassing as the time he got stuck on this escalator. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. Oh, and by the way, the president's probably gonna bomb North Korea tonight. Okay, spicy has got a hippity hop and deliver these eggs and everybody... Just eat as much candy as you want, because this is probably our last Easter on Earth. <laughs> this week, our military dropped the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan. The bomb cost $16 million and reportedly took out 94 members of ISIS, which doesn't sound that efficient. But remember, Fox News spent $13 million just to get rid of five women. 